Uh, we'll see what AL want to go ahead and get this first pick. I feel like our first pick meta in the LPL has been very curious, but this is a pick that <laughs> hasn't been making it through. And when wow. it does, we always see it first pick typically. And if it's not, then usually the other team lost. Uh, this so is... it is Nico first pick. <laughs> This is one of the most powerful, the most banned champion on this patch right now. And we are just giving away power picks left and right. I was surprised to see Cassante taken away from ZDZ so far, so uh, early on. But immediately now, anyone's left is to get the Nico like Summon the saying, Uzi. GDG, no, no, no. No, no, no. He's summoning the so spirit abusive. of Uzi to the game. Make sure that, you know, uh, AL okay. have, have some sure. strength for Jutoi. Come on. No, that, it is a thing that's you know circling around a lot of teams. However, get to summon the spirit of Uzi, give them uh, give Show them some support, strength in the game. Show support, you games. know, for a legend coming back to the league. But uh, speaking of showing some strength, Jutoi and Zora will be piloting the Jinx and the Blitzcrank, respectively. And if you wanted to upheave a little bit of JDG's game plan, that's how you do it. Well, for JDG, I think this is right now a pretty tough team to crack if you're going up against what any th anyone's legends have already picked. I mean, you have a Vi ultimate that's going to be walking straight into a Nico, And this has been something, uh, personally for me, I think Blitzcrank so far has been super impactful. Obviously, th this champion just has a one-hit pull, and you just call it, you get that pick for yourself. But when you're anyone's legend, if you can start off a team fight with, an item, with a numbers advantage... You're feeling super comfortable. You're feeling a little bit more invigorated to say, hey, maybe we can win these True. fights. Maybe we could take down JDG. I do like the point and click precision that Kanavi will have with the Vi, though. It does give him a lot of options. And when you give Kanavi options, that's where JDG find wins. Uh, we do have a lot of focus <laughs> from them in the second phase of bands. It is the Kha'Zix and the Viego towards Shao House. So taking away a lot of those aggressive picks that we said could be the potential win for AL in this draft. But we actually see that focus towards Knight for AL. So far, that Ari that he goes to so often. Interesting enough, more and more of these mages being taken away. I wonder if they're also going to start to reach for more mobile mid laners. Because with this Blitzcrank, I think if Knight is going to pick up something like a Syndra to try to slam lane, that is something you can use to really take control of this. Getting rid of Kennen tells me that there's a potential Scion in ZDZ's future here. And for JDG, you need to be thinking of ways of what are champions that are going to be pretty okay with dealing with the Blitzcrank. Things are going to be able to disrupt not only the Nico but the Jinx. And I love this Gragas here for 369. I think that can be pretty huge, but it also is flexible. Uh, I think we could sure. see the Knight 36, er, 369 flex with the Gragas. Uh, I was wondering if we were just going to get four bans towards Knight. <laughs> Luckily, the Kennet comes through. <laughs> so just banning uh, 369 there at the last second. So Knight can't be like, oh, you need four bans, huh? Uh, and as we get into it now, though, there will be a counter pick available for JDG. Again, they still have a little bit of that flexibility. So the confidence pick comes through. It will be the NAR. Ooh, okay. Well, the NAR here for ZDZ, we've been seeing more of this champion pick up the Hullbreaker, and especially into Gragas. I think this is a fantastic option. Allows you to really chase Gragas in the side lane. And as a champion, uh, if, even if he's going to go tank, if he's going to go for AP, it's very difficult for Gragas to deal with the minion wave. So I like this. Being able to stack this does give them an out into the laning phase. And for anyone's legend, I love this Nocturne. Gives you threat onto this Aphelios and on the side lane early on. If you want to play for top side, this is perfect up against with this Gnar. Really appreciate the focus to ban out Xiaohao, but he still finds the Nocturne. He will have at level six, a big spike to find things. And the combo of Nico and Nocturne wow. can be so deadly. The Malphite does come through. So it looks like we have that flexibility we were talking about. Okay. It means that JDG, their mid jungle, is going to have some say up against the relatively low range of something like Harder and uh, Zhao Hao's Nocturne Nico. But come level six, it will be pretty difficult. If JDG are going to continue their full court press, if they're able to grab priority, maybe grab an early enough tower, then AL will have a tough time breaking in. Yeah. But as it stands, coming in even, you get into that fog of war, you get set up first onto an objective. It is very difficult for JDG to go yeah. in without just using both of their ultimates topside. I actually really like this pick from Knight. Earlier today, I was at LCS and got to watch JoJo pilot a nice very flex. dominant Gragas in the mid lane. But this is Knight. This is the golden left hand of JDG, MSI champion. Finally, an international trophy to his name. 
and we're getting underway with a five win streak already in their pocket for JDG. Expectations are they win this series. AL though, they've given us fights. They've taken games off of top teams and most recently BLG, and they do not want to give up the fight against JDG tonight. We're going to be getting into our second series now, and we heard a little bit about those focuses for the compositions, but it is all eyes on Kanavi versus Xiao Hao for me, and Xiao Hao needs to get to that level six mark as quickly as possible and start affecting the map. Got to avoid Vi in the early game. And here now, JDG, we get that amazing skybox of their ba uh, of their arena. Just beautiful, honestly. I love all the different, specifically, I will say, LNG skybox when they're in their arena. Just perfect, just beautiful. I love seeing yeah. uh, all the graphics that they have there. Early game here for uh, anyone's legends. They have to make sure, put down early vision to avoid Kanavi from finding plays in the early game and save Nocturne. Make sure he gets to level six. Any advantage is an advantage you'll write home about. Uh, speaking of home, JDG, man, that, that arena is looking packed and that arena is looking very, <laughs> very biased which I think you'd expect at this point. Uh, JD is going to be thriving off that, though. And I'd love to hear from the players, right, specifically from Missing, about how kind of that crowd affection affects them and how they feel like this is their home turf. I love that. It's not something we get often in, in League of Legends, and it is something specifically home to the LPL. Exactly. This is the only league that has home crowds like this. Uh, you could get a little bit of that from European regional leagues, but... We're not there, and they also don't have like five st uh, five arenas that are just like this. So, as we focus in on this game here for ADG and Anyone's Legends, again, this is uh, we'll, we'll see what they can do. I think the fact that Anyone's Legends got not only Blitzcrank but also Nico is maybe a little bit of a testament. Good hook coming out from Zoro for some early damage onto Missing, but. If they can't make it work with a, a Nico on their side, a champion that's been banned prematurely across the world, it's it's looking tough. It's like, well, we gave you the best tools, and look what you did. I would say, though, counterpoint, Melio is a pretty damn good tool, too. I agree. So I would say giving Ruler the extension power that Emilio does, it, it looks so terrifying, but I think as we look and hone in on that jungle matchup, see where they're going to be affecting first. You get that push from this 2v2 down here. Both junglers are pathing towards topside. Very scary here, where both junglers, like you were saying, are moving up to where ZDZ and 369 are fighting. Interestingly enough, Zhao Hao does have an early ward, and you see the pings coming in. Harder is getting that first call to say, I'm moving topside. I have my mid laner who's able to collapse. ZDZ, if he needs to, can do so as well. Getting aggressive with Kanavi is exactly what we wanted to see from anyone's legends. You have to be able to upend the game plan from JDG. They're a slower team. They take a little bit to wake up. They go to extended series as well. And oh. Xiao Hao is not going to let Kanavi wake up here. He's going to use that vault breaker. But those chicky nuggies of Xiao Hao's. Oh, he actually, gets it. Uh, oh, Kanavi, man. He's just too good. Around the corner, around the bend. Those chicky nuggies will be always Kanavi's. And he can still go for this. Look, harder. Just getting in uh, his wave. They could just uh, contest for this red buff. But they want to make sure, Kanavi, we know where you are. We're going to make sure you do not have fun. Now, Xiao Hao does have to get the smite this time. And does Is have this it available. just the meta now? Is I guess this, so. Do, do we just start but, from, from two minutes? We just say, hey, let's fight. Let's see what, you know what? Let's see what happens. But that is the game plan that I love to see from anyone's legend. Because they're saying, we may be looking at 50-50 this early game. But if we win that 50-50, well, hey, we just took a game off JDG. Exactly. And if you can take one game off of JDG... You can always argue that you could take another one, right? Like, if it's one, it's replicable. Wait, you can win games in League of Legends? I, I, I know. Some teams, I mean... Oh, man. I, oh, no. I, I don't not, want to get too real. Too was, real. Back up, back up. Yeah, you already knew where I was going with that one. Zhao Hao is going to take care of this top side here. And Kanavi has a few options. Is immediately going to go for that Rift Scuttle or Bottom Lane Scuttle to make sure that he can get some vision here. But there's really not a lot of camps for him to be able to go for on this bottom side. And if Zhao Hao is playing this... A about as well as he is, he should know Kanavi's going to be towards bot lane. Play safe. Make sure that we're not overextending. Like Zora had said in the interview, we don't need to be greedy for these waves. We should be playing a little bit more team-oriented if we want to try and find more wins. 
And level six is when that team orientation comes online. It's when, uh, you know, you're driving along in the car and all of a sudden there's a bright red button. The NOS is activated. You can just <laughs> press it when you want to. Uh, and I do look for that in AL, but I also, with some of this kind of early invade, they've been risking some things. I don't want to see them risk everything to some extent. If, if we're going to try to take a game a little bit later, you're trying to rely on Jitoyi and the combo with Harder to really be that damage profile, you've got to have a decision at some point in the game when you're going to stop taking those risks as often. Well, eventually the risks will have payoffs, hopefully. Uh, if you're going to be making them, you got to say, this is what we're going to get with these risks. And then you got to be able to hone in. I would, uh, me personally, I would love a risky team, especially if we're going to go for development in terms of what we see from anyone's legends. Go for some risks. Why not try some some different stuff? Yes, it will mean you lose a lot of games. But when you're going up against the likes of a JDG or you're going up against even our top six, you got to be thinking of ways that are going to catch them off guard. Now, early dragon here, I think we might see a fight. Takes one pick, one hook. Speaking of risks, we see AL moving again into the pit, knocking up Kanavi. Kanavi still connects it though. Pop Blossom on a two, and Jatoi is firing away. He gets excited here. He's starting to turn up. Ruler is gone. Your savior for JDG right now in this early fight is already off the table. And Knight, with no mana, does end up having that body slam over the wall. But AL get first blood and another kill. They do lose the dragon, but they have successfully smacked JDG. It is two kills and a lot of gold going on to Jicho Yi. So if we're talking, if we're looking at 80 carries, it's feeling it's feeling pretty good for AL with that play. They come out ahead massively with 2000 gold. It was a good start here for JDG where they're able to keep Zhao Hao out of the pit. But after that, I mean, I love that Zora is getting aggressive on top of Kanavi, getting him low. And it is Harder's ultimate here that sets them up for a huge win. Ruler does not have cleanse this game. He said it's nope. enough to have the Melio. And uh, maybe going to be wanting a little bit of that for this early fight. Later on, it'll be a lot easier once Missing actually has his exactly. ultimate. But uh, that's all that AL need to try to get a snowball going for them. And uh, right now, they're about 1.5k in the lead as well. Uh, so feels pretty good as uh, they, JDG, are looking for a uh, bit of a response on top side. We also have that Rift Herald spawning in 50 seconds. We'll see if there's any recalls coming in. Zora and crew don't look like they will want to move out of this lane anytime soon. So JDG just going to be taking the Rift Terror or the Scuttle up in topside and then moving down because Kanavi is behind right now. He needs to hit level six. So I think the Rift Herald will take a little bit of a back seat as we wait for that Vi Ultimate to come out. And I love this from JDG. They're like, do we have to move for bottom side jungle? Is Zhao Hao going for another invade? Because you see this wave and you have to be thinking Nocturne could very realistically be level 6 soon. They can go for an invade. Anytime that Blitzcrank is off of the map and in Fog of War, you have to be worried that there's potentially a hook Ooh. coming. Huge flash from ZDZ gets Hands the ultimate out from 369. 369 trying to say, hey, you awake ZDZ. I know we're hitting each other with pool noodles, but... You got, you got to stay awake. Got to stay awake, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it does get that check out. does have that flash burn. So 369 will have that advantage. Shao Hao, though, has hit the level six. JDG's alarm bells are ringing. And preemptive strikes are available for anyone's legend. And you see right now immediate movement for the Rift Herald here. JDG's bot lane is not taking a single step up into this river. And Kanavi, while he is finishing some of his camps, it's going to be a objective going over to anyone's legends. As Zora walks into mid, helping out his uh, mid laner with any kind of wave instead of in case someone were to show. I love this for them. They're getting some early objectives. And instead of going for a stack, they obviously didn't get the first dragon. This Rift Herald should be pretty important in them being able to open up the rest of the map, get some gold into some of their carries, and start exploiting some of the early game here against JDG. Set the pace of the game against JDG, and that's exactly what AL have done thus far. Uh, still have to look at how the team fights kind of come together. And JDG obviously giving themselves a bit of an extended timer with that first dragon take as well. So neutral objectives go a long way for a scaling team comp, but also I'm terrified for one person's life uh, when they go into team fights. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because one person is going to die real good <laughs> when JDG yeah. go to fight. And I just want you to know, you look at what JDG's got. You got a tank top laner. You got a bruiser. So someone who's going to be pretty resilient. 
You've got Gragas in the mid lane, someone AP, who, baby. again, gonna be pretty... It is AP, but still pretty resilient, has some damage reduction in the kit. And then there's an AD carry named uh, Aphelios and Melio. I wonder where this Nocturne ult is going to land. Um, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty clear, to me at least, as to where this should go. Although, AL, they want to try and flip the script here. Try to make a play in the mid with this Rift Herald in their back pocket. With the Dragon coming up in 40. At this point, I'm going to start weighing how many times his ruler said to himself, I wish I took cleanse. Uh, with the <laughs> amount of lockdown that there is for AL as well. But AL taking that pressure from mid, using it to get this Scuttle Crab, get a little bit of vision ahead of this dragon spawning in 30 seconds. It's an 80 carry moment when you're just sitting there like, well, I'm, I'm, I may be down a little bit in gold, but I'm feeling okay with where my position is. Boom, Nocturne ult his bot lane. All right, well... Glad I had fun. Flash is not quite up for Ruler, so they have a small timer oh. here. 369. 369 going for it on the ZDZ. Can't get all the damage down, but does a nice chunk of that fleet footwork working out for ZDZ. About to have Meganar, though. Ooh, this is a good timer here because 369 can teleport thanks to the unleashed teleport changes that did happen. And ZDZ, while he will be able to teleport, will not have Meganar for this fight. So a bit of a, a short time here for JDG. If they want to get aggressive, they can do this now. And you already see pushing onto this bottom wave. Anyone's legends are going to be late to this play. Kanavi here. Face checks a little bit, says I need to dash out. We did get that TP exchange back to top lane, so side lanes will stay there. We get the grab in, though. Maybe Kanavi's not the one you want to grab, but the Paranoia comes out. Now they find it. Pop Blossom on the top side as well, and they are rolling away with this early fight. Kanavi had fallen, missing very low. Knight able to make it out. Knight just jumps over the wall thinking maybe he can help this fight, but it's more and more kills for anyone's legends. They're going to be able to grab this wave under the turret. They're going to be able to grab the second dragon of the game. MSL, we wanted to see what anyone's lessons was going to do. Dictate the pace of the game to JDG. Do not let them lead you around the map. And so far, anyone's lessons, they've been they've been hanging with the best of them for the time being. It's just that sleeping beast that JDG always are so far in the regular split. See, Kanavi was actually the one that got engaged on initially. And uh, they go back in for this one after Zora connects this rocket grab because you're a little bit extended. But they actually thought they could maybe take this fight around. The The difference becomes when you get the overextended engage with the paranoia picking oh. apart the fight. Oh, Ruler! Ruler's gone! And Jitoe picks up that kill that's Dragon for AL. They had already gotten the flash out of Ruler, so... Unfortunately, Mazel has both AD carry mains here. Flash does not help you uh, versus all that damage. If their flash is down, if the cleanse is down, sorry, it's not going to help you versus Blitzcrank Cook. He immediately gets picked off. So four kills now here for anyone's legend. A dragon in their pocket. And it seems like JDG playing to the opposite side of the map now. They're saying bot lane is a lost cause for the time being. We know Ruler is going to be a team fight beast. Let's see if we can yeah. try to destabilize ZDZ. That's where I do want AL to ride this high, but they need to take into perspective the beast they're fighting. Uh, ZDZ maybe didn't take into perspective how his top lane was going. Does have to pull that TP from Harder as they oh, have Pop Blossom available. It's a big combo onto three members, but he's almost dead. Harder going down, but Mega Death Rocket claims one back. As ZDZ, that's a Mega Nar coming up. He wants to go over the wall, but not going to follow it up. Paranoia was not available for Xiao Hao either. A one for one. You even get an assist here for Jicho Yi, like... You're feeling good still, JDG. They get a counter punch, but still grabbing the teleport out from harder will change the dynamic of mid lane. We'll see how much of an effect it actually has as we get a replay of this fight. Oh, we get to see how Ruler lost his flash here. Maybe just playing a little too far up. Yeah, getting aggressive on Jichoyi. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, was it a predict? Oh, no. Oh, man. Zora just had to wait. Well, that feels bad. You're like, oh, well, that happens. Happens to the best of us. I was afraid here because you already see not only the ultimate coming, but uh, Zhao Hao is making his way up here. And the Nocturne ultimate is coming soon. If that fight had overextended, there could have been more for anyone's legends. But for the time being now, Rift Herald spawning in 30 seconds and anyone's legends are still holding on to this gold lead, finishing off on some of those camps. I hope to see JDG and AL fight for this next objective because the dragon's coming up in three minutes and you really don't want to give any more turrets or, you know, any more turret damage over to anyone's legends. You give one reset over to Jinx, there's more and more gold in your backpack. Already three and two and has a huge bounty. 
fact that he also got that kill credit and top side from the mega death rocket just feels really good uh and the matchup itself could not be crazier right again this is an ldl carry from rng royal club who came up for al this time around it, it fought for a spot with iBoy and, and really has taken the center stage right now as a developmental piece for al and he's facing up against ruler and he's 3-0-2. That's where I love that they're riding this high of aggression, but they also need to keep it in perspective. They need to drive this win home. Exactly. That has been some of the biggest problems, especially when we're talking about a lot of our lower teams in the standings. They have not been able to necessarily close out a game. They found some early picks. They found some really good early game plans, but are unable to close out against some of our teams. So... Anyone's legends, they need to be able to keep calm, cool, collected, while also keeping the pace up against JDG. He will find a nice pace here onto the Rift Herald as well. Kanavi was just weighing his options. Looks like the option is going to be to just wait and find out what happens as time flows on. AL will have a Rift Herald under their belt here. They can't do anything here. I mean, like JDG, their their bot lane's on in a great position to answer. I think they're just afraid right now of kind of finishing some of the rest of these items, and they're not in a great position. Three six nine as well, taking a reset there. So, Chicho Yeet, man on your screen right there. The Jinx, what a great game as well to play Jinx. Like you find one reset, your entire team is built for this. You get that one kill, and you can take over a fight. You've already set Ruler down behind, who has been the man of the hour, the guy that every single team in the LPL has focused. It has been, there are so many clips right now of, like, Ruler having to play 1v3, 1v2 bot lane, and he's just either making it look good or having to wait for the rest of his team to really kind of bail him out of those situations. It is not fair for the king. And you just love for AL, the fact that they are in the driver's seat because it gives them that decision-making power with the composition that they have. And that's how you, where you need to be because the other side of that coin is not a good one. Uh, speaking of coins, we're going to see a flip on the night here as Paranoia comes down. They should have the amount of damage wow. to do it. And the cast saves Shao Hao from taking an extra tower shot. There you go. You know what that means, Lennon? There is more turret damage down in bot side, and it gives them priority for this dragon. Coming up in 30 seconds. Anyone's Legends are not giving up any space for JDG. They're saying, hey, Knight, you might have been resilient. You might be going AP, but guess what? We're still going to try and make that dive. And it feels unfortunate because even that Gragas barrel turns into saving Zhao Hao there. It's actually so cool, the dance that's going on for AL right now. 369 has been unlocked a little bit. He's looking a bit rambunctious in the mid lane. And JDG is actually going to put pressure onto this. They do get the TP out from AL. That'll be harder rejoining the fight down here, but Dragon is on the table for JDG, and Rift Herald popped in mid lane for AL. If JDG cannot grab this next Dragon, they see themselves on a timer 10 plus minutes afterwards. They're going to immediately start this up. They grab this on spawn, so they'll grab yeah. the second Dragon, set themselves up there, but this Rift Herald crashes into the mid lane, and it is more turrets or structures here for anyone's legends. Getting rid of this mid lane turret means that it's very hard for them to walk out of mid. <laughs> they can contest for extra jungle camps, and I love that Ruler is just using the, the Calibrum there to just get I... some poke damage with the splash. Dude, Zora is mind gaming five members of JDG right now. He's just hovering over there, like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna walk away. You're gonna, they're like hovering to try to go to mid lane. Actually, hilarious, and what this Blitzcrank kind of brings to the table. Uh, and I kind of love that representation from AL because they do have a lot of that pickout potential that JDG has fallen prey to so far. But as you had said earlier, the dragon secure there for JDG. For me, it actually means a lot. They're just continuously buying themselves time as we're gonna look at harder. He, I loved how he just played outside of turret range. He gets the ultimate here for the shield and then flash to dodge out on the belly pop. I oh, whoa, oh, we're whoa, get whoa. Harder coming in with the play. It's not a replay. It's live action as it's AL. They get traded one back, but they find a couple more on the top side. Two more kills, more kill credit for Jichoyi. They're going to grab this top lane turret as... I mean, anyone's legends are playing a fantastic early game here, punishing JDG and maybe some of their lack of aggression. They they do tend to lack in the early game and Zhao Hao saying, I'm gonna double time on that. We're gonna invade early on, put Kanavi on the back foot. And now they have a 6,000 gold lead here. Looking pretty good so far for them. 
as that is the kind of early aggression we expect from AL, but we needed specifically against JDG. And we actually didn't get to see the whole part of this play, but this is how it started. Okay, so ZDZ was just under the turret, and he's tanking it up. He's, he's using that Mega Nar. Uh, he doesn't die here? Nope. All right, ZDZ, respect. Respect team for that one. <laughs> Good job. Throw some uh, respect you, on his name. Yeah, exactly. It does mean that Harder's the only one to die, but... Really, who cares? He's playing Nico, man. He's got the yeah. stopwatch coming up next. So crucially, anyone's legends are just cruising. Crucially, a two-item spike, even though it's not the third for Jitoyi, it's still a Gale Force, and it's yes. still something AL can continuously press into JDG. So these two-item spikes are actually a little bit important for AL to continue pressing forward with. It would be really uh, good to see what they could do with it, and Jitoyi has been so important for this team had similar stats alongside Aya Boy for damage percentage but it is an 80 carry meta and they're just going to constantly Ooh. put pressure down on tonight gets the flash out from him which in two minutes time when we have another drake here that flash might be the difference maker for whether or not they get onto Jichoyi in the back line it's a long timer and if he didn't flash he was just dead so see if uh, JDG can respond to some of the holes in the game plan, at least early on, 21 minutes in, AL have a strong advantage. 5,000 gold in the lead, like you're saying, kind of building towards that. Still long timer to go here, and I think a lot of vision game played, and I yeah. still need to see Hao continuously pull the trigger on these paranoias every time they're up, because there does come a point where JDG's composition comes online in 5v5. Yes. Lennon, I feel so bad right now, because it's like, if nameplates were off, I would be really excited to be anyone's legends. I'd say that they have a very <laughs> clear way of winning, that they have this jinx that's really Easy. far ahead. Xiao Hao as well, as you see on your screen right now, is being a massive driver for this team. But unfortunately, nameplates are on. This is the best team in the world right now. And they still have a team fight composition that does come on later. Until I see that Nexus explode, it's hard for me to believe and kind of get my my wrap my mind around the fact that anyone's legends can pull this game out they're in a really good spot here in 40 seconds before this dragon we'll see what has come of this early game luckily the one person you need to have have a bit of a say is ruler on the Aphelios. he's the leading gold for jdg at this point but uh hardy was trying to play a little bit what's that minion walking into the bush for as now it's JDG trying to make a strike onto AL who have set up in front of the dragon. There is oh, the there hook is. right on the night, and you ain't tanky with that Everfrost. They're going to try to turn this one, though. Paranoia comes out, and they've actually found ZDZ before he went Meganar. Here comes the Pop Blossom right onto the back line and right on the missing. All of your healing, your cleanse, it's all going to be gone as AL have taken yet another fight against JDG and gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh my god, Lennon, we are about to see some amazing games here already. 11 to 3 is the kill is the kill feed. And if you would have told me again, nameplates off, the, it, people would be thinking the Reddit threads would be on fire right now with JDGR ahead. But anyone's legends are making great plays around the map. And JDG just feel lost. It's his first pick from Zora. I meant to comment on this earlier, and we saw the Blitzcrank yesterday between EDG and IG, but there's a reason why this champion is so deadly. It takes one hook. It doesn't matter what you did in the early game. And they have been oh, near flawless for the side of anyone's legends. They do get a little cheeky. I will say JDG did use some of their spells in a bit of a weird spot, like 369 throwing down the ultimate on the tanks. Doesn't oh, matter. We got another JDG. fight. JDG, they're pouncing. They're pouncing back. They're going to fight back. We got double TPs coming through, though. We got the paranoia pop. Chow House should make out. it out. Now you got into the fight. Ruler is on his way. Mega Death Rocket has been used, but he can't get there. Knight oh, no, goes no. down first. Pop Blossom yet again. And Harder makes a big difference as a Mega Nar from CDC. You got punches being thrown from every single member of anyone's legend. And they're connecting right onto the face of JDG. This could be the Baron here for anyone's legend. That Gragas barrel threw the Nico right into the team. If they weren't able to get that Nico ultimate off on multiple members, that could have been a fight that JDG turned. But now Teleport's coming in. 
Lennon, we have got an amazing game one. We had said at the beginning of this show that expectations are that all of our top teams should be taking games off of these lower standings teams. But right now, anyone's legends, they want to break expectations and they want to bring us to a game one victory here. And it was all off of the momentum in early game. The game plan, play aggressive, take on JDG. Don't let them rest until the late game. And they have not stopped, right? We've been in replays multiple times where Look we come this. out and they're, they're taking fights. Ah! It hurts, Lennon. It hurts when the Nico ult gets just straight up delivered into your team. Ruler, he's like, oh, I, could, I could try to maybe do something here, but the game just feels too far gone at this point. A 10,000 gold lead versus JDG. Not many teams can say that they've held this, much less 10,000 at this point. And two and a half minutes before the Dragon, they have Barons as well. What an insane game here. I mean, CDZ now has the hole breaker, so he can tear apart at 369 at the sideline, start picking away at these turrets. And what do JDG do? They can't collapse. Zora is just exerting this Blitzcrank all over the map and making it so that Fog of War is such a deadly place to be. And Harder efficiently showing why Nico should either not be let through or not be allowed to be picked on blue side because so many times harder has found backline access multi-man pop blossoms to set up the chain reaction that is al's comp it's buying room for the paranoia to be waited on for things to just fall into place for al right now we're seeing the siege the cdc is going to have another wave Navi does go in they don't have an engage anymore zora. zora is a little bit out of trouble here shao hao is around the corner but they will just leave zora out meanwhile zdz with this hole breaker is just taking down this inhib tower he's gonna oh. need to be careful take the inhib and run away as they're pushing down a tier two in mid he's buying so much time and they could be able to take an inhib tower as they are now actually gonna back away with the rest of this baron buff oh let's see one last auto from the minions they're auto attacking they're auto attacking and the inhibitor is going to be safe. So big find there. Zora and ZDZ just too far up. If they're able to grab another turret, I think anyone's legends could definitely maybe save him. But it's going to be a minute. JDG will now be in a very good position to be uh, grabbing this fifth dragon. There's way too many dragons. In this yeah, game. There, so yeah, there are. I'm going to say from what our first game was to now, we are getting much more action, a lot we more are. dragon focus here. And look at what JDG are doing. They're playing aggressive. They're trying Dude. to get down vision and find another pick here. Oh, Zora. Oh, Zora. You just came back and now you're gone again. Knight gets the kill. I feel like right now, AL might get caught up in this because it feels yes. like there's somebody like a drill sergeant standing on the outside of their nexus going go 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 they've been de redeploying every single time going straight for fights and that's where jdg can start to test your missteps deep breaths deep breaths for al they've kind of they've gone picked a few times specifically now zora with those two deaths and jdg again not a team to be trifled with not a team that you want to be making missteps up against they are a killer team. They are your MSI champions. They have won the LPL already. Like, it takes one mistake against a team that is not only um, doing amazing so far in the LPL, but also just full of veterans. We saw this in the LGD versus Weibo series, where it took one mistake from LGD, who were winning most of that game. Boom, the game ends. Game one's over, and the Weibo take a 2-0. JDG in a similar position now, down much more gold this time around. But it Nobody can answer pick. ZDZ in the side. It looks like JDG. No, Knight? Knight? You're, you're, Knight? you're by yourself? Uh, it will actually be Kanavi that got the dragon, but it's Knight that's already caught out by himself. They're also losing an inhib in topside. And JDG, they just don't have the decision making power. And AL are making all of them. They, they don't have the big stick. They don't get to wave around the big stick right now because, right? Uh, AL's like, I'm legends. talking. Yeah, exactly. This is my talking time. Oh, three, six, engage nine. with 369. And will it be a nine or will it be a three? It is to be decided. Harder's Pop Blossom goes wide. ZDZ's on the flank, though. Ruler is chugging away right now. It's a front to back now. JDG might be favored here as AL back away. ZDZ should get caught out. But Ruler with the caliber. Ruler. Flash out from ZDZ gets him alive. Okay. Big summoner spells here now gone a minute before the Baron. Jichoyi with no sums, no ghost, no goat or no flash. 
And no flash as well for ZDZ. On the opposite side, JDG are going to be looking. Their ultimates are going to be up and available. They're going to be respawning in time. And that was as good of a fight as they were going to get here as Zora misses out on the flash hook. And we thought Chichoyu would potentially be going down here. He got so low. And it was just the fear from Xiao Hao that stops Kanabi from finding the AD carry. Love that strike from 369, but AL know when to pull back for the most part. And now as we come back to live, you see AL just consistently pushing forward. They also have three items coming up for pretty much everybody. You've got a Magi's completed for Harder as well. So their team fight is definitely there. And your saving grace for JDG right now is Ruler. It's all about finding one pick for both teams. For anyone's legends, if you find that pick, that could be the game right there. You get that excited onto Jinx and she could be a team fight menace. Or in the opposite side for JDG, you find that pick, maybe you can force for Baron, but it will relieve some pressure on the map here. Oh! Oh, it's a, it's a, it's the Nico it's the clone. clone. Oh, thank God. I knew it was Nico. But I just no, didn't no, know I'm which saying, one. I'm saying, oh, because like, what, what do they do here for, yeah. for ZDZ? Like, there has literally been, oh, not no. been an answer yet for JDG, and he is breaking down the base. That's two inhibs now, and super minions on top and bot. The pressure game is on. Right now, you're seeing JDG. They're split across the map. AL are pulling them, stretching them thin, unable to do much. Knight kind of just like, trying to... Oh my god, harder! Harder! Preemptive strike has been engaged! Oh, they do get a harder back though, they blow him out of the water! And now you got Jitoe going with one kill, but the GA has been popped from Chow Hao. He goes down, can't get a trade back. The Baron ZDZ. will end up going He's over to the AL ZDZ. He's ending the game. He's got a couple more hits. He's so big on this Meganar, and he finishes it! It's just it! AL, can he get it? One more! And that's game one to anyone's left! Legend. Look at CDC at the player cam. He gets excited. He gets ignited immediately. Anyone's legends. They've taken game one versus JDG. And expectations be damned here, Lennon. We've got a series.